do, do the dance. Mm, mm, make that money. Make it, make it. Hey, y'all. It's Kara Delenn, and I'm here with my special guest, uh, Jason. This is my husband. We are feeling much better. Um, so thank you to everybody who reached out and sent us well wishes and made us food and bought us pizza and just checked on us. We really appreciate you. Um, we are back today with a auction. Out of quarantine. Yeah, we're out of quarantine. In. We're not a hundred percent, but we feel a whole lot better and the state health department says that we don't have to isolate anymore. So we went to an auction and we spent $480. $480 and the majority of it is uh, Star Wars, Star Trek, mm -hmm. Star Trek, and Star Trek. Uh, models. A bunch of old collectibles. Yes, so old collectibles. It was a big collectible auction and models and a lot of uh, Star Wars and whatnot. Yes. So what Hence we, the shirts. Yes. So what we thought we would do today is just kind of go through the process of what it's like when you actually have items and you need to see how much you're going to be able to make. So we spent $480. I'm not even sure how many things we bought um, because several of them were like lots. So we're gonna go through live on this video and scan things and see how much they sell for. And then we'll see in the end how much profit we're gonna make. Okay, so let's get started. First thing is we got a bunch of these Rebel. That's a good brand for models. We got a lot of military stuff. So this is a Rebel P47D Thunderbolt Razorback. And we're going to be um, documenting how much things sell for. And then at the end, I'm going to take off a percentage to cover shipping and fees. Yeah, we're going to have to edit because that's not showing up at all. Well, so what that means is this sells, but there's none available. So it's going to be hard to see the price. Thirty dollars. Yeah. On eBay. The Rebel P fifty one D Mustang. Uh, Fifteen, sixteen. We check it on uh, Amazon. Yeah. So we want to send these to Amazon if possible. And the reason why is you're going to make the most for things. 18. 18. And they'll handle the fulfillment. So I try to send as much as possible to Amazon. Uh, another, all these are rubbles. Um, Spitfire MK2. Cool looking little plane. And while he's checking that, I'm keeping a spreadsheet as we go so that we can <coughs> see 17 for that. How much we're going to make. This is another Rebel uh, P39 Air Cobra. Uh, none on Amazon. And none on eBay. Unknown. So I'm going to say 20 on that conservatively. We may be able to get more if there's none available for sale. These are all older and we should say these are all sealed as well. So yeah. these are we not open. We bought stuff in plastic because yeah. you just can't trust the other stuff. And the people that buy from us want sealed in plastic because models are only good one time. All right, not on Amazon. I I like this one. This was a Top Gun model from the movie. Pretty sweet. And no matches found on eBay. 
I'm pretty sure I looked that one up and it was around 50. So I'm gonna say 50 on that one. Um, but you don't, yeah, I you know it bother. is. Yeah. Okay. So because some of these are older, you're gonna have to kind of finagle the, um, the listings a little bit to get them to show up. They're not gonna necessarily show up when you scan the barcodes. You're gonna have to type it in. Probably because these were first posted before eBay had the UPC field. $24 on Amazon. And if you can see, they still have, a lot of them have the little clearance sticker. Some They were selling this for $7 whenever, wherever. You probably know where that clearance Meyer, is. Meyer, looks like Meyer. Uh, $24 for this guy. All right, now we got a Star Trek. Security Officer Odo, Deep Space Nine. Sealed model, AMT is the maker. Uh, and click into it Okay. when that pops up and then you go with that price right there. Oh, okay. Like right here where it says FBA offers. Yeah, so $28. So one of the things, and he's newer, I just got him signed up as an employee of my business. So I'm the CEO, and he is the, what did we say you are? The Peon. No, the Chief Operating Officer. Yeah. COO. So um, one of the things when you're scanning for Amazon, when you first scan it, it's going to show you the lowest price. And usually the lowest price is a fulfilled by merchant. So you want to click on that. Um, listing and go in and see what the lowest FBA offer is if you're going to send these into Amazon to be fulfilled by Amazon usually you can get a little bit more for the FBA prices so you don't always want to match the FBM price you want to make sure you're marking it up a little bit for the FBA hope that makes sense that was a lot of rambling but this is a rebel and this is Battlestar Galactica bears Beats Battlestar Galactica. Mm -hmm. Michael! Uh, this has a price tag on it of $14.20. We didn't, we maybe paid that at the auction. This sells for $125 on Amazon. Yeah, boy! <laughs> I love it. Bing, 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 bing! This one is a Lost in Space uh, robot, the movie. sells for 50. This is Lost in Space Jupiter 2. Let me show him. Big cool looking ship. And he sells for 130. This is, are we getting into some Star Wars stuff now? And this is a pop figure. Which I know I can't sell pop on uh, Amazon. I'm gated in that, but we can sell it on eBay or we can sell it locally on Facebook Marketplace. Of course, I'll post it on Macari. Um, and I think you can do toys now on Poshmark, I'm pretty sure. Probably Kittison. I'm gonna put it everywhere I can, of course. I need to look at completed because these prices are all over the place. When you're checking eBay too, it's important to look at the sold comps, not just, you wanna look at how many are out there to see if the market is saturated, but you wanna see what it actually sells for. So this is Star Wars 319 Lieutenant Conix, and she sells for about 10 bucks. This is, I, I love these, Dusty Box. I, th I think this was somebody's collection because they have bought a lot of stuff and then just left everything sealed. Thank you for whoever left everything sealed. Does it have a date on it? Uh, 94. Micro Machines, yep, 1994. So 1994, it's a Micro Machine Star Wars set. 
with a display stand. Mm -hmm. And it's a special limited edition that it's numbered. And this sells for 24. These things are good to, to get ready for quarter four because in quarter four, we all know that's the busiest time for resellers. Amazon goes crazy, eBay goes crazy. Um, but there are gonna be things like this micro machine set. It's selling for 24 right now, but because there's only so many of them available at Christmas, you're gonna be able to bump that price up because the demand increases and people are looking for those types of unique gifts for collectors. All right, this was one of the things I wanted. I'm not gonna keep it because it's valuable. But this is a artist rendition, artist uh, whatnot. They did these fan votes and they redid all of these characters in these, I'm trying to not glare it, uh, these cool different things. And so it has like the artist profile, but this is an all white Boba Fett. Yeah, you got it. Awesome. And then we got another one of these, and this is the, a Sand Trooper with the artist. But these still have their coins in them and whatnot. They weren't they weren't um, attached to a like Power of the Force or anything like that. These were a special edition. Um, and I saw these two things in a flat, and I ended up getting the whole flat. And all of this stuff we're about to go through here for like thirty bucks total. Mm -hmm. This guy is forty-seven on his own. Uh, yeah, and we're sitting there and we've got this flat of all these different pieces, like a lot, and Jason leans over and says, check the price on that white bulb fit. And I said, I don't know what that I means. I don't know what that means. Uh, the Sand Trooper goes for about 25. So just that one white Boba Fett pays for the entire lot. And that's why he got it. And a lot of people that we were bidding against at the auction, they were wanting the big items. They don't want to mess with a lot of the little ones. This one is loose. That yeah. one guy, but that was the only one. Star Trek snow guy. He's, he's, he's got his package, but his package has released from the cardboard. But... Yes, yeah, so anyway, people don't really want to mess with a lot of the little things, but there's money to be made in those. Yeah. All right, so I have uh, several of these little uh, mini mates Star Trek people. There's the lizard guy. Uh, so we got, there's a Spock, there's the lizard guy, there's Mugatu is the one that's loose. Khan! You got Captain Kirk and Doc Nimoy. You got all the goods. Uh, these are going to be toys, so they're not going to be uh, available for you. Well, you can still check them on Amazon, Amazon if it's easier to do the prices on Amazon. Okay, let me look. And it's weird because some toys I can sell, but a lot of the big name brands are ungated. Yeah, so Khan is 24. Wait wow. a minute. What? That's the whole set. Yeah. Yeah, we have a full set. We may sell them together. We may ahead. sell them all together. Kirk, or what do you got? Nemo Moy? This is Kirk. Captain James T. Kirk. He is, he's about 12. We are probably going to sell these as a complete lot. Uh, McCoy goes anywhere. He's, he's around 10, looks like. Uh, Mugatu. Uh, he's anywhere between 18 and 35. That's what you get with the non-name guys. So. I'm going to say 18 on that one just because the, uh, the plastic. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Spock is about 27. And 
and the Gorn, this is the lizard gun, is 25. Now, this was all in that flat with that Boba Fett, with the Sand Trooper, and with these four ink pens that I thought were just uh, kind of thrown in. Five ink pens, sorry. But these ink pens are still in their collector set. So they are a, a uh, Star Wars Lego ink pen yeah. with these different pieces in there. So you can customize your little pen, but all of them are sealed. We have five of them. Which one is this one, Darth? This is Vader. You can't call him Darth, there's lots of Darths. Rookie. Uh, $34 for Vader. <laughs> pay the lady, pay the lady. This is 3PO. Guess how much 3PO is? 20, 20 bucks. Nobody cares. Oh. I was like, uh oh. Nobody likes 3PO. I, I do. Like 3PO. Uh, we have a clone trooper. He is 25. Everybody loves Chewbacca. Everybody really loves Chewbacca. He's seventy-five dollars. No, no. Yep. Oh God, I love it. Let's see who loves Darth Maul. Uh, nobody on Amazon. He is not there. <laughs> Darth. Nope. Yeah, another Darth. <laughs> yeah. Killing me. Yeah, and he's not found on eBay, so we have no idea. It's a Darth Maul with all his attachments sealed. Uh, there's no listing on Amazon or eBay, so he is mystery. We set all price. So, yeah, what that means when it's not listed is either it's not popular at all. If it's a... Um, I can't believe we have the whole set of these Star Trek. I know. I didn't realize that until just now when I saw yeah, the back. I saw the back. Um, it can mean that it's not profitable and nobody is crazy enough to sell it. Or it is so rare and so valuable that you may want to put that on an auction or something, you know, go out and check on Worth Point or um, what is it, Sell Hound or any of those types of things to see what they've sold for in the past. Or you can also look up message boards. A lot of times it's real niche yeah. stuff. You can look up a message board and post something on there or post a picture of it like you have it for sale. There's always clusters of nerds that are uh, nerds for one kind of thing, <laughs> and you can find them. I'm a nerd for you, baby. Okay. <laughs> now, these I don't expect much from, but these were in that, um, yeah. were they in that flat? or were, was I think they were a bulk purchase. They may have been a flat purchase. How much do you want to put on the Darth Maul pin? 20 to be safe? I mean... Yeah, there's no reason to get crazy with it. Because that 20 was the cheapest one. So all of that stuff, those pins, the Star Trek full set, uh, everybody sealed except for the one guy, and the two Star Wars things, mm -hmm. I paid 30 bucks for that entire flat. Awesome. Um, actually, these things are selling for about 18 apiece. Shut up, they're $1.97. Yeah, they're, they're they about must 18 be old. apiece. Yeah. So there's like collect them all, get all these little train pieces, and we have two of them. Looks like we have a caboose and an engine. So if you're gonna have two of them, you might as well have the engine and the booty. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 18 bucks for the engine and the, I guess a coal car. That's what it looks like is a coal car. So these are, um, they're that kid, kid connection, which was the, um, like the generic toys at Walmart. But these are old, so it may be that somebody had the collection and they're missing a specific train. They are metal trains, which I think is significant for whatever reason. This is a little Hot Wheels car, but it's not Hot Wheels. It's Revel. It's the people that make the models, Revel Racing. And this is a Frankenstein um, car. Uh, he was just part of a flat, but he's five bucks. 
Yeah, that uh, package is a little messed up. Yeah, it, it's it's not fantastic. This is an NFL headliners. This was yet something else that was in a, uh, a flat deal or uh, buy it all kind of thing. Uh, who's it? Terry Davis. Oh. Yeah, it's got a price tag on it, fifty nine cents. This sells for ten bucks. Yeah, boy. Lauren, are you leaving? Yeah. All right, I love you. Be careful. Thank you. Where are you going? Oh, on Pearl Street. Ooh. Bring back coffee. Come on. No, you will. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Want my shirt? It's awesome. Oh, I love it. That's cool. Bye, love you, bye. Be good. How much on that Star Wars? Well, we're not mall? going to Star Wars. Okay. All right, so reset. Uh, we've got another one of the headliner guys. This is somebody. He's priced at 59 pace. He's priced at 59 cents on this thing, and he sells for $10 as well. This is Darth Maul, episode one. This is a uh, pretty sweet figure. This is, my oldest son, Devin, had this when he was little and then broke his. Uh, Broke his uh, say his dual saber. Uh, he sells for twelve bucks. This is something I grabbed that I was happy to grab, and I think I got. Did I get the other one too? Mm -hmm. Did I get two of them? But yeah, this is a Star Trek USS Enterprise Command Bridge model kit. Obviously sealed in plastic. Uh, let me see if I can find a year on it. Yeah, 91. And it's got a price tag on it. It was $9.91. So I have two of these. 75 dollars on Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and put the second one in because I know we yeah. have it. Yeah. Uh then we got um they had a bunch of games up there. And, and I don't even know if you yeah. would be selling those. Pause. I, don't know, I get it. I get it. You keep going. Oh. You can show the games because we're just going to keep those. Yeah. Okay, so we got a bunch of games um, in this, like, um, no, you know, nobody bid, and there was a bunch of loose things, and things were open, so we weren't picking this up to... Um, resell or anything but we are all big uh big gamers and we play lots of games at our house our kids play lots of games so i have this whole section in my basement of just tons and tons of games so we picked up all this stuff I don't, we don't know if they're complete or not, but we got a man game uh scrabble jr we got challenge yahtzee that looks old and that's pretty sweet i like that I like old games. Uh, Farm Friends, whatever that is. Meet the President's Quiz Game. Oh, I found another ink pen. Uh, a full set of dominoes. These are heavy as crap. I'll come around and take the games. Okay. And... This little Jungle Book lunchbox, it's got something in it, I don't know what. Scallops game. You, I think you take cards and you build things with them, like, like Origami Jr. or something. And then just some playing cards. And then we got, I'm bored, I'm out of my mind, I want to do something that's not parent approved. Play at your own risk, card game for mischief makers, ages eight plus. This looks like a... Cards Against Humanity Jr. or something random. All right, but in that box, I also found a uh, Anakin Skywalker Lego pin. So, and he w wasn't with the other ones, so let's uh, check what he is. It's a mystery. It's electric. Woogie woogie. That was a good find. He's uh, $29. So, Anakin. 
Anakin uh, pin. Lego pin. For 25 29 Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, our last box. This Guys, this is amazing. And I, and I hope that you enjoy this type of thing. Um, I know it's a little slower than our typical. Here's um, that other Enterprise bridge. We our typical video, but I think it's important for you to see what the process is to go through. Now this is something I saw and wanted. This is Shadows of the Empire. It's a little offshoot storyline, comic book series, whatnot, um, that they had done. And this still has the comic book in it. This is sealed, has the comic book, and it's IG-88 versus Boba Fett. Two bounty hunters uh, fighting each other. It's like the Mandalorian. Uh, sort of, yeah. Two completely different people, but the same factions. <laughs> and this guy, he sells for 38. I think go to the other one. This one here? Go back. Go back. Go to that one. That one? Oh. Uh, that's not him. Okay, sorry. So 38. 38. I just thought that was sweet because it was Boba Fett. All right, we got some more uh, Rebel models, and then we've got some more Star Wars stuff too. Um, this is a Rebel Thunder Squadron SR-71A Blackbird. I should also say we spent, uh, what's eight times eight, 64? Like $64 on some pop figures for our daughter so she picked those out and that's part of the 480 that we spent but it wasn't for resale all right this guy sells for about 17 dollars rebel monogram series f18c hornet Yeah, he's, uh, look at this. Yeah, check Amazon, too. Okay. The, you know how eBay is. They're all... Well, they're you'll get more for sometimes. on Amazon. And that's our, that was always our plan, anyway, to sell these on Amazon. None. Okay, so it sells, but there's none available. I'm going to say on that one, 25. Yeah, that's what At I'm least. That's 30. conservative, yeah. All right, F-16 Air Defense Fighter. That's what he looks like. That's cool. I like that one. I wonder if it's got the little guy in it. It looks like, yeah, there's a picture of the model. Yeah, this is going to be another guess because I'm going to say 25. 25 That's this so good. Let me see if I can find dates on these. Go ahead. Oh, this is the Blackbird. We got another one of the Blackbirds that we had already seen. So a second Blackbird, uh, Thunder Squadron. We did him just like two ago. Oh, I see it. 17. Yeah. Are you done with that one or are you going to show that off? Well, I was just going to say, I found a date on this one. This one's 2001. So it's not technically vintage because it has to be 20 years, but obviously there's some demand for that one. And it may be that people did these when they were young and now they're trying to do them again, maybe with their own kids or whatever. That's what all the Star Wars stuff is. Mm -hmm. All right, this was part of a uh, just take what's left kind of thing. I wasn't all amped to get a lot of stuff from uh, episode one because like they made so much of it and when the movie came out, people were buying it up, buying it up like it was um, original Star Wars, like it was gonna be the value of the you know 77 Kenner stuff or 78 Kenner stuff. It's just not, it's, it's not. They made too much of it. The movie was not nearly as popular as the uh, original movies. So when you're looking for Star Wars, there was a lot of stuff that sold last night um, that I was just sitting there shaking my head because it was, it was stuff that had been mass produced. Like they were selling, like the flat I got of $30 with all this rare stuff, um, 
that that's because I knew I knew what what was in there. I knew I could make my money back. They were selling flats of um, what was it, Power of the Force and stuff like that. These these offshoots, but those things were so mass produced. So many, so many went out, and they uh, the vast majority of them didn't hold their value. You have to. You, you have to get the more rare things um, and stuff that's going to end up making you money. So just because it says Star Wars, it doesn't mean it's going to have this crazy value. It doesn't mean it's going to sell for a backpack, you know, rocket shooting Boba Fett. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, he's been teaching me that because I used to see Star Wars and was just like, get it. No matter what. Yeah. All right. So this guy was just, like I said, a part of buy it, everything else. I wasn't amped to get it. This sells for 20 bucks sealed so that, uh, that I'll take that's I, I marked that a win well heck yeah do you want to know where we're at as far as no okay all right don't don't <laughs> say nothing all right this is a uh, like the showcase piece this was another episode one this was in with that other thing I got just kind of take what's left take what's left this was the Amidala in black from episode one and she's the child predator what right Oh, yeah. I have if a hard time with memes, that. If you've seen those memes. I just, I'm like, hmm. I'm, so, like I said, I was like, I'm not really picking her up. She's not awesome, you know. But then when they say, just take everything that's left, all right, I'll make a move on it. She sells for 33 in the box. Like I said, people, some people were buying stuff last night that were paying way too much way too much for what it was would you say what do you say there was about 45 people there bidding and we had one guy that was there and you knew he was just there he wasn't a reseller he was buying for his personal collection and i was yeah. so happy when he got certain things because he was bidding against me on a lot oh, of things he'd be like yes there was a uh the, now this was a valuable thing because it was rare but it was a it was a power of the force it was a b-wing fighter with the pilot in box sealed uh, box was in pretty good shape. Um, everything looked really good. So that sells for about 80. I dropped out at 40 or something like that. Because we want to double our money. Because that's the thing. We're buying to resell. There was a ton of collectors there. So they did, you know, they did good. It, it, and, and getting that for 40 bucks for your collection, that's fantastic. Paying 40 or 50 for it to sell it for 80, that's not fantastic. So we, we got marked out of the out of the market for those but this is something pretty sweet that's this is one thing i saw and grabbed quickly this is a uh, amt model uh spock first officer mr spock uh, i don't think it's that incredibly old 96 i think 95 95 um but he sells for 48.50 Love it. These are micro machines. Star Wars edition. That micro is machine. so cool. So this is all droids. Now this is this has got like this has got like IG eighty eight. Let's see if I'm not glare. IG eighty eight. There's a uh, medical droid. Isn't um, there a forlom? No. Uh, I'm just reading that. That's a, he's a bounty hunter. <laughs> Killing me, <laughs> killing me with you. I was reading the back of it. Oh, isn't there a forlorn? <laughs> there is, but not in this box. He would not be a droid. All right, so this thing, I don't remember. I think what did I do, I do two boxes at 15 a piece or yeah. something like that. Uh, this guy sells for $55. And again, guys, it's $55 right now when the demand is just as low as it's going to be. Around Christmas, this stuff will be worth so much more. But I'll still sell it. You know me. I'll sell, I'll sell it, it for fifty five. I'll sell it right now. I'll sell it for for fifty four if you want to buy it today. Micro machines, Star Wars. This is all the ships, and you got some Adat Walker. And look, this says only available <laughs> in this set: Super Star Destroyer, oh, the Executor. I almost said Executor. <laughs> you can. You'd be wrong, but you can. But there he is. There's the executor up there. 
Uh, but this is sweet. It's got Java Sail Barge, uh, Chicken Walker, TIE Fighter, uh, X-Wing, Cloud City. Uh, I think that's a Y-Wing. I'm trying to look at it in the reflection. Lane Falcon, obviously. Uh, yeah, pretty sweet. I think is that's it a Tidarium? A Tidarium? A B-Spin Twin Pod Cloud Car? Bespin. <laughs> blockade Runner. See, that's, oh. that's the Blockade Runner I was trying to think of. Yeah. Uh, Chicken Walker. What was the uh, what was uh, Leia's ship in Episode Four? I think it was Tantive, oh. Tantive Four or yes. something like that. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, I was totally gonna say Tantive Four. All right, so this dude sells on Amazon for one hundred and thirty-two dollars. Sweet. All right, we got another. That's my making money dance. Mm, mm, work it, mm, work it. Mm, mm, we got mm. a third Blackbird, Rebel. Blackbird, so the Thunder Squadron. Yep. So seventeen. Two, there's three. Which that'll be nice to be able to put in a multi quantity listing. Oh, I was gonna say, no, did we get two of them? Oh my god! I was like, what? All right, so this is kind of sweet. This is Lost in Space. Everybody remembers that old show? Of course you don't. Uh, but I'm old and a geek, and I do. So this I bet I have some viewers that know Lost in Space. Tell us. If you do. Honestly, what am I supposed to tell you? <laughs> do, do the dance. Mm, mm, make that money. Make it, make it. And this Lost in Space model, I don't think I showed it. Did I show it? He's sealed in plastic. And Amazon says, still working on this. Try like you're going to minimize it. That helps. It looks like 55. Yeah, 55. Well, okay, so that one says 55, but there's no FBA. Did you notice that? It's only fulfilled by merchant. So we could go in and post it at 75 fulfilled by Amazon. That'll work. All right, this is Forbidden Planet, Robbie the Robot. Obviously sealed. I think we said that. We didn't buy anything that wasn't sealed. Yeah. Uh, no pricing information on him. Oh, there's one newer used for $120. Mm, mm, make that money. Make it, make it. Mm, mm. Get it, get it. Uh, this is the robot from Lost in Space. Is selling for $26. I think that's all. That's it? Okay. I think that's it. So, we had one thing toward the beginning. Oh, I think I just put a price in it. It was some kind of Darth thing. All right. Here we go. Now, Remember the 480 that we spent. That was, uh, we also paid a $10 um, buyer's fee or 10% buyer's fee. So it was a 10% markup on whatever uh, the auction ended up ending at plus 10%. So we paid $480 for how many items? Well, let's, let's take um, $64 off of that. For oh, the for the pops? Yeah, that's right. That's right. So... 480 minus 64 is 416. Yeah. So we're going to say we spent 416 plus we bought games to keep for the house, but that was pretty minimal. Remember yeah, those games? Yeah. But all right, so we're going to say 416 is what we spent. Now, now how many items do we have? We have. 48 items. So. Have you already done that? No, I'll do it right now. So 418 divided by 48 items means we paid on average $8.71 mm -hmm. per item, which is high for me. 
That, mm -hmm. That's more than I normally like to pay. But going in, we knew the value of some of these things. So $416 total. We are going to gross sales $1,768. Net after taking out fees and shipping considerations, $1,502. Not oh, bad for a date night. Yeah, and that, so that's more than triple. Mm -hmm. Good. Make that money. <laughs> make it, make it, make it, make it. I love it. So, where do we go from here? Probably we will like I said, send in as much as we can to Amazon. And I will likely, what are we in August now? Yeah. I will probably bump the prices up. I won't try to get the buy box on these things. I will probably put the price up a little bit higher because fourth quarter people will pay more for this stuff. Yeah, and it's not imperative that we flip this right now. No, and it and I mean for some of the things I don't care so much, but for the things that we're the only seller, you can name your price. Yes, this kind of stuff, the micro machines, um, the one that was selling for a hundred and twenty, hundred thirty-two with all mm -hmm. the little ships and stuff like that. I may put that at one ninety-nine or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think there was only one available or something. So that's what's nice about this stuff. And I also don't mind sharing it because this isn't wild, widely available. You can't just go out and find this stuff at the store. It's not retail arbitrage. It's not online arbitrage. These are things that you would have to buy from a collector or a really a collector because yeah. most businesses aren't going to have stock on the shelves from the 90s or, unless yeah. they're a uh, vintage toy right. shop that's closing and you pay premium at those shops yeah. anyway yeah so um the great thing is this guy told us um because it was our first time going to this auction he was like in two weeks i'm gonna have hundreds more we were like we'll see you yeah we'll be back so that's it. That's all we have for you. We are more than tripling our investment on this. And we got some cool stuff to keep. Mm -hmm. And Jenna was very happy. It was her first time going to a live auction. Yeah. And she uh, had a good time. Yeah. She, she liked picking out uh, all her stuff. She ended up getting like, I don't know, eight pop figures. And well, then, then she three, got the 12-inch figures. Her, yeah, she got a uh, Kylo Ren and the uh, Red uh, Trooper and Vader. And we didn't take that amount off. Mm -mm. No, that was an extra 21 for those, so we've actually got a little less in it, maybe a few cents less. Yeah, so I love it. It's good. It's good. That's all we have for you. I'm just glad that we're both feeling better and starting to uh, have energy and motivation to to do a little bit other than sleep. Mm -hmm. so, and play video games. And play video games. I mean, he does I, I watch a lot of Paternity Court. <laughs> yep. I love Lauren Lakes. Lakes? Lake? Whatever. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.